Hello everybody and welcome to our 24 hours in Truro vlog. This video is actually the first of a whole series we're making for staycations in Cornwall. We're currently at the Alberton. This room is beautiful, it's really gorgeous, we're in the courtyard. However, we haven't even shown you the best bit yet. Come here. Look at that, we're definitely going to get in that bathtub tonight. Yes, Koi's correct. That bathtub looks amazing. I'm definitely going to go in it during our stay here. We're actually going to have dinner here tonight and then tomorrow we're going to wander around Toro, show you all the highlights of Toro, and then we'll be popping back here for some afternoon tea. So this is actually not the first time we have stayed at the Alberton. We stayed here a few years ago for Charlotte's sister's wedding. It was a very beautiful day. They fully decked out the great hall where the wedding was held uh, and we just partied with the family. So this place is quite special to us. So we're so lucky to be back here enjoying it and having a staycation here in Cornwall. absolutely starving. Well, I definitely am. And we have a two course meal waiting for us in Alberton restaurant. Let's get going. I am excited because when we had food here for my sister's wedding, we had some really nice food. And we actually had a vegan roast here once with my family. It was really lovely. So fingers crossed, it's delicious. I think yeah, I can see the big chandelier of our reception. Well, how lovely, we have this beautiful quiet corner candlelight and a full vegan menu. Uh, lots of choices, I'm very excited. Little appetizer, we've got some sourdough and focaccia with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Delicious. That appetizer with the bread and the olive oil and balsamic dip is so tasty. The focaccia with a little bit of garlic, delish. And I've decided to treat myself with a house gin. Comes in a fish bowl size cocktail glass. Um, very tasty and we are just waiting for our mains to come. I'm very excited. <laughs> Root vegetable soup, yum, 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 yum. I think Cory is very jealous of my crispy tofu. It smells delicious. I am very full, very happy, and I'm gonna go enjoy my dressing gown and bed. <laughs> I wanna push it. <laughs> We have a feast for breakfast. We've both gone for the vegan options. Some fruit, some toast. Koi has got a cappuccino. I have got a juice and a peppermint tea. And yeah, a very busy table. So we're gonna have very full bellies. <laughs> Well, this weather is not what we were hoping for. I think we need to scrap our plans to go in for a nice walk along the river and do a little research. So 
so cute. I've just seen two squirrels running around. We actually saw one yesterday. And there's all these bird noises and it's crazy to think you're just next to the city. I can hear slightly the noise of the cars going past, but it does feel like you're out in nature here. It's raining, it doesn't really matter. It's only a five to 10 minute walk, so it's really not too bad to get from Alberton into the town centre. It's obviously a bit nice when it's not raining and windy. But now we have found what we're going to do for our indoor activity. We're going to go to the main attraction, Troy Cathedral. Well, this certainly counts as an indoor activity. Let's go inside. Well, that passed some rainy time, but it was so much more beautiful in there than I remember. I must have been in here before, like growing up in Cornwall, but it's obviously been forever. I couldn't really remember what it all looked like, but it was very beautiful. And they also do some really interesting events here that I've been wanting to go to. They do concerts in there. And they also do like um, silent yoga in there, which I think is really interesting. I think it'll be an amazing space to do it. I'm gonna look out for that and maybe go to the next one. Now it looks like the rain has stopped finally, so we're gonna have a little walk up the high street, maybe have a little perusal and look for a cafe. One thing I really like about Truro is all these little alleyways that are hidden in between all the old buildings. Um, you can really get a sense of what this town was like as it was building up, as it was developing. Um, and it's cool that they haven't got rid of them. They're still here and they're still accessible for you to explore. Have a little hunt around and see what you can find because sometimes down the end of those lanes are some really cool, quirky little shops. This is very funky, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little party corner. It's nice on this drizzly day, all this colour. Now, we, obviously we have our afternoon tea today, but we've got a few hours to spare. So we thought we'd come into Hotbox and share a burger. We've got a lunch deal on the moment, so we've got a vegan chicken burger, mayo, lettuce, some fries. Corey's gone for a beer. This should tie us over for a couple of hours before our afternoon tea. Thank you. Ah, well, that filled a little hole. Um, and the cool thing about that place, it is inside an old church. So you can come and purge your confessions to the burger gods of Truro. The sun is out, what a lovely surprise. Not expected, but we'll take it. We are off to the Royal Cornwall Museum. This crystal well from all the mines around Cornwall we're learning all about the Cornish history um, over the centuries those are so interesting because it looks so man-made cubes of iron it's so so interesting to me you can have these like crazy like perfect 90 degree right angles and then you can also have like the most rounded spherical looking shapes all in nature 
How weird. Well, very cool. Definitely recommend a visit if you are in Truro and you want to learn a little bit more about Cornish history, as well as a little bit of history and something else about Romans, Greeks and Egyptians. Very interesting. Behind me is a hall for Cornwall. Now, if you've got some theatre tickets or want to see some cool acts, this is where you're going to come to. It's actually larger than Plymouth. So Plymouth is Devon's big city. Uh, it's a lot bigger than Toro, our Cornish city. But we do have one seat more in this theatre. So technically, we are the largest theatre around the Southwest region. So when you're walking around Truro Main Town Centre, there's actually loads of little cut-throughs and little alleys that lead you all around the city. So we're just going from Lemon Key over to the other side. <laughs> I forgot the name. The other side, making our way back to Alverton because we have our afternoon tea. But this little area is really cute. Some nice little markets, cafes. Actually, I was in that one not too long ago with my family. Um, yeah, so Truro is full of cafes and places to eat. That's what I really enjoy here. And it's like, Growing up in Newquay, we'd always go to Truro for some food or to go shopping because Cornwall is known for many things. Not really it's shopping, Truro is probably about the best you're going to get. So something we really wanted to do while we were here in Truro is go for a little walk along the River Fell, which we've just crossed over. But unfortunately, due to the weather uh, and timings of things that we had planned, we weren't able to go for that little walk along the river. You end up at this little cafe in a place called Malpas, and we've heard it's super lovely. Everyone recommended it to us when we were asking our friends what to do in Truro. So if you have time and the weather permits, definitely go for a little walk. is a great two listed building it was built in the early 19th century I think it's around the 1830s 55 rooms in the property I would like to stay in one full time Well, we've just been given our vegan afternoon tea menu and it looks so delicious. We've got four savouries, five sweet treats, more sweet treats, that is a good combo. Uh, we've got like praline chocolate fudge cake, scones, meringue mess, um, sausage rolls, roast aubergine, yum yum yum. And I've gone for an English breakfast tea, but Corey has gone for an iced latte because we had a little bit of blue sky and he went mental and thought, I'm hot now. <laughs> I think the blue sky's gone. This looks so exciting, I don't know where to start. I think it's going to be this cake. Oh no, the chocolate cake, the carrot cake, the scones. Oh my god. So we are slowly making our way through. We've just had a little half-time break um, because the light was super nice outside, so I had to go and fly the drone while the conditions were good. Um, but I'm going to get into my sweets now, and I'm going to start with this little number, which is a lemon meringue mess. So we're going to give it a go. But quick review of the rest, the scones, very good. Um, jam first or cream first? We'll let you guys decide in the comments below. Um, Savouries, super nice, piccalilli, love it. And the, yeah, the little sausage roll bits were super tasty. Um, vegan sausage rolls, love it. Best thing you can have, savouries. But now we're on to the sweeties. Oh, they're delicious. They are yummy. Save the best for last, the praline chocolate fudge cake for me. Dessert is all about chocolate, so this is my highlight. Taking all your boxes? All the cakes are delicious and moist. <laughs> I'm getting very full, starting to OD on treats. 
All right, we are so full from that afternoon tea. It was so, so delicious. And honestly, if you are plant-based and you want to have a date day here in Truro, we really recommend that. The food is so good. We feel very- a food coma. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very well rested and rejuvenated, so we want to say a big thank you to the Alverton for having us, um, letting us stay in this beautiful historic building, feeding us and treating us to a great little staycation here in Cornwall. Yes, yeah, staycation. That was the first of our staycation in Cornwall series, so hopefully we can do a lot more of those and show you some of the beautiful accommodation that there is around Cornwall. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Troy, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.